for your pinpoint forecast with meteorologist Cedric Haynes. Well, good Tuesday afternoon, Southwest Louisiana. If you were outside, you probably enjoyed some warmer weather. Again, we had one more day of warm weather, but again, things are changing and we're tracking those changes for you here in the Seven Storm Center. Currently, we still have those warm conditions in Lake Charles, 79 degrees, dew point of 65. That's a very moist atmosphere out there telling us that we have a lot of moisture increasing and it's helping to be increased by these winds. Check this out out of the southeast at about 13 miles per hour. So turning breezy this afternoon and these winds are going to be downright windy coming up for us as we go throughout the day on Wednesday. So we've got some changes coming this way between the winds and the temperatures as well. Check out the temperatures locally. We got temperatures pretty uniform in the upper 70s to lower 80s and that's because we're seeing some clouds and the winds so it's not allowing for a lot of variation in the temperatures, but they're very warm out there, upper 70s, lower 80s, and I think this pattern will continue. They're going to drop about 10 degrees tonight, but we're not looking at a really cool night tonight as those southerly winds will persist out there. Now let's take a look at the winds. This is what I'm talking about. Notice the winds are all out of the south and southeast, anywhere between 10 to 15 miles per hour, and that's pumping in one, the warm air that we have out there, but number two, it's pumping in a lot of moisture in the upper levels of the atmosphere. And these are two things that are going to play a major part in our forecast as we go between to Wednesday into Thursday as we track that next cold front coming in. You've got all this moisture moving in, and as that cold front moves in, those two things are going to clash. You can see that with our dew points. Now remember, dew points are a measure of how much moisture is in the air, and when you start getting dew points in the 60s and especially the 70s, that's when you know you have a very juicy atmosphere and it's like having a wet rag, something comes along like a cold front and squeezes out all that moisture. And that's what's going to happen over the next couple of days. So not only are we going to be concerned with the threat of thunderstorms, but also the concern for heavy rain and possibly even slight flash flooding possibilities as we go throughout the next several days. Here's your satellite radar picture today showing those clouds. We were talking about this yesterday, moving from west to east, high clouds out there. We still saw the sunshine moving through from time to time, but we are tracking our next storm system. You can see this big spin out here, still in the western part of the country here, low pressure spinning there. And what it's doing is, again, it's drawing up plenty of moisture. So we're going to see this moisture continue to stream in from the Pacific and also the Gulf of Mexico as we go throughout the next couple of days. And that's why we're going to be tracking the threat for thunderstorms that will continue to develop as well. So let's track that for you on our regional hour by hour futurecast model. You can see the clouds streaming in as we go throughout the next couple of days. Going into your Wednesday, showers and storms really breaking out over Texas and Oklahoma. And look what happens Wednesday night into Thursday. That begins to transition to the east. So Little Rock down to Dallas. And then eventually, Thursday afternoon and Thursday evening looks like our prime time for a line of showers and storms, possibly some strong to severe moving across the area. Let's take you in a little closer here and show you this on our local hour by hour future cast model. You can see tonight those clouds streaming in. Throughout your Wednesday, it will be cloudy and breezy, but mainly on the dry side. But look at this. By Thursday morning, that line of storm is approaching out to our west. Even by lunchtime, we may see a few showers and storms. And wow, coming up by Thursday afternoon and evening, prime time trick or treating a line of strong to possibly severe storms approaching from the west. So we'll be tracking that. There is a threat for severe weather. The Storm Prediction Center has outlined our area in the threat for severe weather. Main threats being damaging winds, small hail, and frequent lightning. And not only that, we've got to watch out for the heavy rain threat. Could see anywhere between one to three inches of rainfall. So we will continue to keep you updated. But again, for if you're having trick-or-treating on Thursday evening, look for those storms out there. Not going to be the best forecast for any trick-or-treating weather there. But for your Thursday, Man, it's going to be an active day, so keep it tuned in. We'll continue to track that line of storms. Could be some severe weather, also heavy rain and flash flooding threat going on. But the weekend looks nice, Cynthia. Sunshine and temperatures in the 70s. So we'll recoup over the weekend. That's right. That'll be the <laughs> treat part of the trick-or-treat uh, time frame for us, I think. All right. Thanks a lot, Cedric. Mm -hmm.